Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be a slightly different kind of video. First of all, I've been getting so many requests to show you a tutorial on how I do my filming makeup. You guys really like that it's all natural and dewy, and I'm really happy to tell you that there are very minimal products that I use to achieve that look because as most of you know, I am a new mom. My time is very limited, so you can literally do this makeup routine in five to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna be showing you all of my favorite makeup products that I have been using on the regular for the last several months and it is the exact makeup that I have been wearing in pretty much all of my videos for the last several months. I also want to take this opportunity to kind of chat with you guys. I want to update you with some really big changes that are happening in my life. Some of them are going to affect you guys as well, but I hope in a good way. So that's what today's video is about. So without further ado, if you want to see how I achieve my everyday makeup look, then just keep watching. So I just put Ari down for a nap and she's sleeping like a little angel So that's why I wanted to take this opportunity to film this video and show you guys what I have been using I've been meaning to film this video for a really really long time, but I just never had the chance I also wanted to mention that I am currently in my quarantine loungewear I always get asked where this loungewear set is from it is from the Nordstrom and something Navy collection. I don't think it's available anymore, but I will try to link similar pieces in my description box down below. Okay, so let's just hop right into this video. So the first thing I usually do is apply my skin tint. So this is a skin tint that I've been using. It's by the brand called Kosas, and it's a tinted face oil in the shade number four. This is what it looks like. And I really like this because it has very natural coverage and it already has an oil in it. I usually like to mix in a couple of drops of oil into my foundation, but since this one already has it in it, I just skip that step altogether. This is like a two-in-one product. It's skincare and makeup all in one. And it just has really, I just put a lot on my skin right now. It has a really natural coverage, which I like. I used to make the mistake of covering up my skin too much and it would look very unnatural. Nowadays, I like to go for more of a natural look, even if you can see my skin imperfections through my skin tint, I actually prefer that over a much fuller coverage foundation. I've also really been enjoying buffing in my skin tint with a brush like this. Just makes it a lot easier and a lot faster. And that was literally like 30 seconds and I am done. So if you're a new mom, try this out because honestly, it's such a time saver. So next what I like to do is go in with some concealer under my eyes because let's be real, when you have a little one at home, you don't get much sleep. And unfortunately, my under eyes are really showing that. So I like to use a concealer. This one is by RMS Beauty. As you're gonna see in this video, I'm a huge fan of RMS Beauty. I have a lot of products from them. The reason why I like this one is, again, because it's very, very natural looking. The coverage, I would say, is light to medium, but I find that it still covers up any redness that I may have and it just makes me look more awake and refreshed. And it's also super easy and fast to apply. Everything in this video is super easy and fast to apply because that's what my life needs right now. So as you can see, this is the before, this is the after, and that literally took me 10 seconds to do and I already look so much more alive. And if you guys are wondering about the shade that I use, it's number 33. So how are you guys doing? I know that it's a crazy, crazy time right now. Everyone is you know, going through their own struggles. Um, I am personally super grateful for everything. Um, I am one of the lucky ones that am able to stay at home and work from home throughout this 
the craziness that it's that's going on uh, in the world right now and I never ever take that for granted so I definitely am not going to be complaining one bit here I wake up every single morning with a grateful heart and a grateful attitude because I have my health, I have my family's health, I have my family with me, I have my, my husband and my daughter. And, and this time at home has given me extra time to be with my daughter and see her grow and see her develop. So that has honestly been the most incredible part of all of this for me. And it gives me something to look forward to. And I know that for a lot of you guys, it's really hard to have something positive to look forward to uh, because a lot of you guys are unemployed. A lot of you guys maybe are home alone and don't have your family around you. So I wanted to also share some tips and tricks that help, have helped me personally to cope with this entire thing so the first thing that I kind of already mentioned was that I wake up every morning with a grateful heart so I know that maybe some of you don't have family with you right now and you're home alone but everyone has some kind of positive thing or blessing in their life that they can be grateful for for example uh, having a roof over your head or being able to put food on your table in times like this, it really helps to focus on the little things because if you think about it, there's always going to be someone who has less than you. So no matter how much you have, no matter if it's a lot or it's a little, always be grateful for what you do have because in an instant, all of those things can be taken away. And there's always, always, always someone in the world that has less. So just appreciate the little things. That has personally really, really helped me. And if you find it hard to kind of get into that positive mindset, another thing that really helps is meditation. It kind of just helps you shift your mindset and start off the day with a positive attitude and also writing down a few things every single morning, things that you are grateful for or things that you are looking forward to doing that day. I find that for me personally, that also kind of shifts my head into the right mind space and it already sets my day off in the right direction. And if you keep doing this practice on a daily basis for 30 days, for example, you're gonna be exercising the muscle and over time, you'll be able to do that on your own without having to write things down. Another thing that has been helping me so much is humor. Whenever I'm going through a hard time, I always look to humor. I always try to find the funny things about you know the hardships that we're going through and this entire pandemic and the quarantine has really inspired me to create some funny content it's inspired me to create a tiktok account which is something that I have been resisting for a very, very long time. But sometimes if I need just like a mental escape, I will go on TikTok and I have some amazing TikTokers that I follow that instantly put me in a really feel good mood. And just having that as a creative outlet to create my own content. The name of the next song is Chocolate. When you're feeling kind of down and you're craving something brown, eat chocolate. Thank you. and be able to post it on my socials and see your reactions to it and see how much you love seeing those funny memes that I'm doing. It just makes me feel even more amazing. So I'm not saying go out and make a TikTok account or whatever, but I'm just using that as an example. But for me personally, it really helps to see the positive in things and just to laugh about the situation that we're in because honestly, in my mind, there are really two ways you can go about this entire situation. You can either be really down and depressed about this whole thing and it's just gonna make the time go by much, much slower, or you can try to find the humor in little things and create funny content, either for yourself or for your family and friends to share with them and just make other people in your life you know, feel a little bit more lighthearted about the situation. So yeah, I just wanted to put that out there and share that with anyone. Hopefully, you know, it'll cheer you guys up a little bit and make you look at things from a different perspective. 
All right, so the next thing that I do is go in with my bronzer. So I have been using powder bronzer for years, and I would say probably around the time that I got pregnant is when I started to switch over to more cream-based products because I was dealing with a really, really dry skin. In general, I already have really dry skin, but when I got pregnant, it got even worse. So using cream products, especially if you have dry skin, really really helps and makes the makeup look a lot more natural and i've just kind of stuck with this routine because i like the way that it looks so i just pick up a little bit of this beirudi bronzer from also rms beauty and i focus that right here like right where my cheekbone is and i focus it at the hairline and whatever is left over i kind of bring towards my nose and that kind of just creates a natural diffused bronzy glow and then i will add it around my hairline and then do the other side and then i'll go over my nose and then do the jawline And then I will go in with my blush, and it is yet another Armas Beauty product. This one is the Lip to Cheek, and the color is Dave Muir. So it's kind of like this really pretty rosy color, and I like to pick it up on a stippling brush because I find that it just looks more natural. And then I will smile to find the apples of my cheeks and just stipple it on. And I'll focus the color on my apples, and then I'll bring it up towards the hairline just to like naturally diffuse it and then whatever is left over on my brush i will go over my nose the reason i do this is because when i'm applying makeup to my face i try to think of what my face looks like after i have been outside in the sun for a bit and if you think about it the high points of your face such as your nose tend to get a little bit more red or a little bit darker than the rest of your face so i try to mimic that with my makeup to make it look as natural as possible so right now the pigmentation is a little bit too stark for my liking so what i like to do is go in with a large stippling brush like this and i lightly just go over my entire face just to blend everything in and make it look a lot more natural so this will take remove any excess product and kind of push in you know and some of the product into the skin as well and it just makes everything look a lot more seamless so another thing i wanted to talk to you guys about is youtube so for any of you who have been following me for a long long time hold on i have a hair right on my cheek you know that youtube is is a business but for me it's also it's not like everything for me if that makes any sense i am first and foremost a an entrepreneur i have several companies i have my fancy hair extensions company fancy fringe those are like my main things and over the years i'm super grateful and thankful that i've been able to build out a team so those businesses are able to run pretty much completely on their own and also all of our employees are remote which is fantastic we don't have a headquarters which means that everyone can work from home and especially in a time like this that is super super incredible that way no one is risking their health and their safety the only employees that do currently have to go in uh, to work are the employees that work at our fulfillment centers or warehouses because they need to come in and ship orders but of course we're practicing good health and safety measures so all of our employees literally go from their house to the warehouse do their job and then go back home and everyone has uh, proper protection and everything so, so far that has been amazing. YouTube has always been like a creative outlet for me. And in the beginning, I did use it as a marketing platform to talk about my hair extensions. So I do have a second channel. It's called Fancy Hair Tutorials, where I used to do a bunch of hair tutorials and hair hacks and hair tips and tricks 
on how to not only use our hair extensions but just how to manage your hair in general no matter what kind of hair type you had and that channel was what inspired me to create this channel to talk about things that I am very very passionate about as well such as beauty, lifestyle, fashion. Fashion has been such a huge passion of mine but over the years it just turned into this thing where it's been so hard for me to manage all on my own. I taught myself how to do everything from the production, like the um, filming and the content creation, the research, the editing, all of the stuff that goes on behind the scenes. And as much as I love to do it, I realized that being a new mom and trying to juggle all of these uh, projects and tasks and businesses, it's just becoming really, really overwhelming. And for the longest time, I was really debating whether or not I wanted to hire a video editor because I like that my videos are personal. I like that I can just, you know, say what's on my mind. And if I screw up or something, I can just go in, quickly edit it out, and I will be done. I also really used to enjoy editing, but now it's taking a lot of my time. And for me, the most fulfilling job in the world right now is being a mom. And I want to have extra time to be with my daughter and see her grow and see her develop and just be with her as much as I possibly can through all of those incredible stages. And there's also a lot of other projects that I have put on the back burner since I found out I got pregnant with Ari that I would really, really love to try to work on again. So long story short, I have made the decision to hire a video editor, which is one of like the hardest decisions I've had to make in terms of my YouTube business because as of now, I've been pretty much doing everything. The only thing that I haven't been doing for a while are my brand partnerships. Sometimes I do them on my own, sometimes I have my brand manager do them, but for the most part, it's been me. So yeah, this is a huge step in my YouTube career. It's very nerve wracking, but also really exciting as well because I have so many plans for this, not only this YouTube channel, but also the Fancy Hair Tutorials channel. I haven't posted to the Fancy Hair Tutorials channel in in a long time probably about a year so I would love to get some content up there again and I would also like to not only post more content to this channel I would also like to create different kinds of content. I feel like 99% of the content on my channel right now is fashion based. And I know that I have a huge community of women who are either new moms or are expecting moms and come to me for advice and suggestions on mommy and baby stuff. And like I said, being a mom is honestly like, the thing that I am the most passionate about and it is the most fulfilling and exciting thing in my life and there would be nothing that I would love more than to share more mommy and baby content with you guys. So that is the plan for this channel and I am super, super excited about it. Um, and I think that once I have an editor, I'll be able to get more videos out for you and get more content out for you that you want to see. So that is that. I'm going to continue with applying the makeup because otherwise I'm never gonna finish filming this video. So now I usually do my brows. I have been using this stylus pencil from Nude Sticks and it's in the shade Dirty Blonde. I am nowhere near a blonde, but for some reason this shade really goes well with my coloring. I feel like it's a really close match to my natural eyebrow color. So I've just been using this and I'm just lightly filling in any sparse areas. And I kind of like to round out the edges of my eyebrows as well. The only thing I wish this product had was like a proper clean spoolie because otherwise I need to use a separate one and it's kind of hard to juggle. I didn't talk through that portion because I need a lot of concentration when I'm filling in my brows. And then I like to set them with this gel. This gel is actually really, really good. 
it does a great job at holding your eyebrow hairs in place and gives you that like really pretty well pretty is debatable i personally really like when my eyebrows look light and feathery and this eyebrow gel does the job and keeps your eyebrow hairs in place all day long so that's what i've been doing for my brows I've also been getting a lot of requests from you guys to do more like fitness content and you guys want to see me vlogging more and showing Ari more and I would love to do more fitness content and that is definitely part of the plan. Once I have a video editor, I definitely want to add more fitness videos to my channel. There's a lot of things that I want to add to my channel. But in terms of vlogging and showing Ari on screen, I've always said that I'm going to limit that as much as I can. Or should I say, I'm going to show her as much as I feel comfortable showing her. If you guys follow me over on Instagram, if you don't, you should. Because on my Instagram stories, I do show her quite often, almost on a daily basis, just to like show her little milestones and like share funny things that she did that day because I feel like it's uplifting content and I always get so many DMs from you guys on Instagram saying how much you love seeing her and how it puts a smile on your face. And I also post those things because I know that they're temporary. They're only going to be up for 24 hours. And my feed, my Instagram feed is more curated and more like edited with the things that I want to share. So I will post photos of Ari, but I try to have somewhat of a balance. It's, it's hard. It's hard being a mom because you know, you're always going to have critics saying, oh, you're showing your baby too much or you're not showing your baby enough. I'm just doing what feels right for me. And when it comes to YouTube, I feel like my videos are up here literally forever. And I don't want this channel to become a Ari show channel, if you know what I mean. And it's not because I need all the attention. That's like the complete opposite. I love my daughter and I love showing her off and I'm so proud of her, but I do not want to be one of those moms who kind of violates their child. I don't know if that's the right word to use. I just don't want to put her out there for the world to see without her permission. I feel like she's so little and so innocent and I never want her to look back on, you know, my videos or my social media and feel like I exposed her more than she would have liked, if you know what I mean. It's it's really hard to explain and it's a really kind of hard thing that I had to think about when I was pregnant with her, but I feel like the amount that I'm showing her now is something that I personally feel comfortable with. It's something that my husband feels comfortable with. In fact, he always asks me, how come I don't show her more? And that's just because I don't see the reason for it. If I have like funny videos of her, funny photos of her, I usually share probably like 1% of that on my social media and the rest of it, we have a WhatsApp group with our family and we just share it with them. So I had to pause the video for a second because Ari woke up for a couple seconds. I think she's back to sleep. So I'm gonna try to finish this makeup tutorial before she wakes up. I swear this usually takes me five to 10 minutes to do. It's just because I'm babbling so much that it's taking me longer. Okay, so now what I do is I take a bronzer and this is the one that I use. It's by Mineral Fusion. It's called Sparkle Scintillant. And I just put some bronzer in my crease and this just adds some depth to my eyes and it just, you know, just looks very natural. I don't wear um, eyeshadow in most of my videos unless I have, you know, the extra time to go in and create the smoky eyeshadow, but 90% of the time this is what I do and it literally takes me two seconds. And then I will go in with mascara. So these are my two favorite mascaras. I get so many questions all the time what mascara I use. A lot of people think I use false lashes or, or I have a lash lift. These are my natural lashes and I'm going to show you what I use. So I use the Monster Bug Mascara and the Ilia Limitless Mascara. Sometimes I use one or the other. Sometimes I combine them and I mix them. Today I'm going to mix them because this one, the Monster Big, is drying out on me a little bit. 
and I like to use the Ilia one to kind of thin it out so it's not so clumpy but normally it's not clumpy at all it just makes your lashes look super thick and voluminous and long so I just apply that and then I'm gonna go in with the Ilia sorry I keep looking at the baby monitor making sure she's going back to sleep and then I will use that to kind of comb it out comb out any clumps and it just adds a little bit of extra length to my lashes so as you can see I got a little bit of mascara on my eyelid don't worry about that I'm just gonna let that sit for a couple minutes and dry oh I think she's up can you help mama finish filming her video she woke up a little pranky I haven't shown her in a video in a while, huh? Oh, she's getting so big, it's crazy. Okay, so I was able to put my mascara on, so I did a couple coats of that. So I'm gonna quickly show you my little trick for getting rid of the black marks on your eyelids. So what I do is I wait until those marks completely dry and then I take a clean spoolie like this and it literally just flicks off. This is my favorite little beauty hack or beauty trick to remove this. And then I will just fix up my um, bronzer a little bit, just like that. And then I will apply a little bit of luminizer to the high points of my face. And the one I use is another RMS Beauty product, it's Champagne Rose Luminizer. And I'll just put that on the tops of my cheekbones. Then along the bridge of my nose. I just put a little bit on my cupid's bow and whatever is left over on my chin. So that is what I do for my base. Promise you it's a lot faster than this video. And then I usually line my lips, this lip liner is hands down my most used lip liner. I've been using this for years. It's the Mineral Fusion lip liner in the shade Elegant. And it's like the perfect nude. I know, boobs. I know. I can't kiss you right now because you're gonna get lip liner all over you. And I just lightly outline my lips, nothing crazy. I used to go overboard with this, but now, I'm all about the less is more approach. And then the last step is this product. This is the Burt's Bees Lip Gloss in the shade Blush. And it's like the prettiest lip gloss ever. It also smells amazing. So I just apply that on top. And that is it. That is the makeup look I have been wearing in pretty much every single one of my videos for the last probably year or so. I just, I swap up the lip color once in a while and I also sometimes add a little bit more eyeshadow, but all in all, that is pretty much it. I also wanted to let you guys know another huge life update that's happening is that we are finally moving soon. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I mentioned this a couple of times before on my YouTube channel and I've talked about it a lot on my Instagram. We've been building a custom house for like, it's been like four years already and it's finally almost ready. The reason why it took so long is because we are perfectionists. This is our dream home. This is the home that we want to raise a family in. And we've literally designed like every single inch of this house. There's a lot of love, sweat and tears that went into it. And it's finally going to be ready in a couple of months. And we are so excited. And it's just a huge, huge milestone for us. I'm also really, really excited because it is such a beautifully aesthetic house. 
uh, which means that I'm gonna have a lot more places to film. So it's gonna make my content a lot more exciting to watch and I'm so excited for you guys to see everything that I have in mind. I might even do a house tour. I definitely want to do a closet tour because I know I have a lot of fashion fanatics on my channel. And yeah, yeah, we love fashion. We love fashion. So yeah, I'm really, really excited for this huge uh, step in our lives and to share this with you guys. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's everything that I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video. I feel like I never had the opportunity to really chat with you guys in my other videos and I thought this would be a really fun way to do that and also show you guys my natural makeup routine. So I hope that you enjoyed it. All of the products that I've used in this video will be linked in my description box down below, so make sure that you check that out. And I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm sending you all so much love and light. And follow us over on Instagram if you want to see some funny videos of us and to see some uh, lighthearted videos and photos of my baby girl. We'd love to have you. And yeah, that is it. We love you and we hope to see you in our next one. Wanna do a kiss? Peace.